welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin with a really important subject today that you'll be interested in with President's Day right around the corner. What pianos did presidents have in the White House? Well, this is a really rich history. Did you know that from the very beginning there were pianos in the White House? In fact, George Washington had not only a piano, but he also had a harpsichord in the White House. Think back at that time, this would have been a Mozart era piano, so very much like the forte pianos that Mozart played. Rutherford Hayes, as well as Grover Cleveland, they had pianos and harpsichords as well. So there's a rich history going all the way back. Now, a lot of pianos in the White House, believe it or not, were upright pianos. There were about half a dozen presidents that had uprights. Equally important, back in the 1800s, there were about half a dozen pia um, pianos that were square grands that presidents had. Square grands, if you've ever seen them, they're sometimes referred to as coffin pianos because when they're closed, indeed, they look like a coffin. It's kind of an interesting footnote in the development of the piano. Not the greatest piano, really, but uh, they were very large and a really radically different design from the modern piano. Well, perhaps one of the most significant pianos in the White House is the Steinway given to uh, the White House by Steinway during uh, FDR's, Franklin Delano Roosevelt's administration. And it was designed by Eric Googler and gift, beautiful gilt stenciling by Dunbar Beck. This was a really extraordinary instrument that is still there. So since that time, all presidents have been able to enjoy this Steinway. And in fact, aside from uh, FDR, you also had uh, Theodore Roosevelt and later Lyndon Johnson and Ronald Reagan, all with Steinways in the White House. But is that the only brand that was in the White House? No, as a matter of fact, Theodore Roosevelt had not only a Steinway, but he had a Chickering. And Chickerings were also very popular in the White House, going all the way back to Franklin Pierce. And James Buchanan also comes to mind. And did you know that Abraham Lincoln had not one, but two Chickering pianos in the White House, an upright and also a square grand. Chickering at that time was the largest piano factory in the United States, producing more than anyone. And they were around actually decades before Steinway even existed. Moving forward, you wonder, were there any other substantial brands that were very popular in the White House? Yes, there's a couple of more really important ones. Knobby, Woodrow Wilson, Herbert Hoover, and later Lyndon Johnson had an upright Knobby in the White House. And is that the end of it? No, we're not there yet. Because the largest piano manufacturer in the 20th century, Baldwin, was very popular in the White House, going all the way back to William Taft. And not only that, Harry Truman not only had a uh, Baldwin in the White House, he also played, as did Richard Nixon. In fact, he did a performance accompanying Pearl Bailey in the East Room on his Baldwin. So there's a rich history of pianos in the White House. So when you next time on President's Day, think about the rich history of pianos in the White House. I hope you'd enjoyed this. Once again, I'm Robert Estrin here at Living Pianos, the online piano store. See you next time.